everyone, it's Meg here again with another video. Today this tutorial is going to be about rubber necking. If you don't know what the term means, it's when you have actual traffic on the road slowing down because of an event that's happened on the side of the road or on the opposite side of the road. Uh, basically the term rubber necking. Uh, if you don't like this effect on your game, uh, there's one easy way to fix it. It's a file that we're going to be looking at. It's called the journey underscore road underscore event dot SII file and that is found in the world folder of your base folder in the game. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the whole point of this is to force the AI to not react when there's uh, an event on the road, like uh, roadworks or an accident on the side of the road, you know, things like that. The especially when it doesn't affect a lane or doesn't close a particular lane. So it's on the shoulder of the road. And to do that, we're going to look at opening up a file that you'll find in your base folder. But okay, let's start from the beginning. You open up your my mods. We're going to add another file into here. So you're going to def and this will be in your world section. Open up world. These are the files we've done so far. Let's open up the base game, the base folder at least. Move that down there. Let's go to def. We'll go to world and the file we're looking for is journey road event. There we go. It's this one. Yeah. So right click and drag it across. Copy. Yeah. Job done. Close this up. Now let's open this up into notepad. Double click it. And here you have it. Okay. This is basically it's instructions to the AI what to do in what section of the road when a certain event happens. So what we're looking for is this section over here. So basically, outer lane allowed, slow down passing, bridge forbidden, tunnel forbidden, traffic block. Okay, those are the factors we are going to be looking or editing. And in this case, like in the previous video, we're going to use the search function, which is click on find, and it opens up this tab, you can call it. All right. A shortcut to that is by clicking on the binoculars up here. Click on that and it opens up exactly the same thing. So there's two ways you can do it. You can do it through clicking that icon or you're going to search and you're going to find. So basically this is the find tab that you'll be working with. It's just to facilitate the, or how quick you can get to something and how quick you can manipulate it in a batch format. Okay, so let's just start. Basically what we're looking to change is, um, where are we? There we go. Okay, we're looking for slow down passing, Bridge forbidden, tunnel forbidden, and traffic block. Those are the four factors we're going to be looking for. Slow down passing means that the minute there's an event, the, the traffic going past will slow down. The factor there is true, or the parameter says true. We're going to change that to false. Bridge forbidden means that can these events happen inside or on top of a bridge? It says false. We're going to make that true. And tunnel forbidden, it says true, so it says that these things can happen, these events can happen inside the tunnel, so we'll leave it there. If you don't like it, if a tunnel is very, uh, for example, you've got a, a single tunnel where a road has merged into one single lane, uh, oncoming and, and outgoing, you will be faced with an obstacle in the road where the, the traffic has to actually divert onto the in oncoming lane. If you like that kind of thing, it's, it's going to happen, all right, by, by adding it to your tunnel. Uh, if you don't like it, you just leave it as it is. And then traffic block, false, that we can leave. Because that basically says if it's true, your traffic will be blocked. Nothing's going to move from there. Okay. So we're going to look at those four. In my opinion, I would leave the traffic block as false. Because the minute you change that to true, you might get events where the traffic will not move again. Especially in a, in a tunnel, things like that. Especially when it's just one lane. And basically, if the traffic doesn't have enough space to get through, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to sit there. So using the search function, because there's multiple uh, events, if I uh, double click slow down passing, if I scroll down, you'll see it appears in multiple events, basically not multiple in all of the events, because that's part of the parameters that requires for this event to happen. So basically, what you're going to do, we're going to change the values from true to false. Okay, or from false to true, whatever the case may be. So to do this, we're going to open up the search uh, find function. Okay, let's move that in there. And what we're going to be looking for is to replace certain criteria. And in this case, we're going to say, let's do the slow down passing first. True. 
Control C to copy. You go to go replace and you control V to paste it. All right. Now what we have to do is replace it with what? You just control V it to paste it into a thing, but now we're going to change that. So you're going to type in there false space three times and forward slash twice. Okay, so everything it finds now that reflects this command over here, slow down passing true, you're going to change it from slow down passing false forward slash true. Okay, to effect this, you click on replace all because the like I showed you now, there's multiple instances in this file. So replace all. Watch this, what's happening now. Boom, there you go. And it tells you it's replaced eight occurrences in this file. So eight times this has happened. So if you scroll down, there's the next one. Okay. And it will keep on going in that way until it reaches the end. Right. The next one we're going to look at is bridge forbidden. Do you want this on the bridge to happen? Yes or no? If you don't, uh, you say true. If these events are not supposed to happen on a bridge, that will be true. Okay. I like it happening everywhere, so I'm going to leave that as false. But for the for the sake of showing you how to do it, we basically highlight that whole section, Control C to copy, go in there, highlight that, Control V, and then you Control V again on the replace with, and we're just going to change that factor there to true. And then space three times and forward slash twice, and you say replace all. Okay, that's as simple as that gets. And in this case, it's done it 12 times. So there's 12 events where it can happen on the, on the bridge. Okay. And then tunnel forbidden true, we're going to do the same thing. I like it to happen in the tunnel. So I'm going to do the same thing and make it false. Because tunnel forbidden, so it's forbid in the tunnel, true. No, we don't want that. We want that to be a false statement. So control C it to copy. I like that old section, you control V to paste. I like the old section, control V to paste, and we're going to change that to false. So F A L S E, space three times, and forward slash twice. Forward slash twice means anything after that command over there, the the program or the, the, the file will not read anything further beyond that point. Uh, same can be said for a hashtag that has the same effect on the on the code. So you just say replace all and you can see here yeah, that has changed. Okay, so that's basically all you need to do to make this file prevent the rubbernecking. So the next time you approach a scene that's happened on the side of the road, you won't get the sudden traffic uh, uh, slowing down. The flow will continue as normal and yeah, your game will be smooth like that. If you like that effect of slowing down, causing backups and traffic jams, which I know some of you do, I'm one of them, uh, just leave the factors that you like just leave them as a standard, otherwise you change what you need. Like I said before, this game is, or this modding trick is all about making your preferences reality. You know, this game is about what you want it to be and how you want it to, to act. Um, yeah, that's as simple as it gets. Remember to save the file. Let's close this whole thing up here. And if you go inside here, yeah, there you go, you can see the file's been opened and there's the correct, well, the version that we've altered, the one, the one that we've changed. Right, simple as that, close it up. Now, as you all know, to get this into your mod, you've got to basically do the whole drill again, just highlight the whole thing, right click, say add to archive, that pops up, and we got to change a couple of things. So the format will be zip, compression will be store, and you've got to change the extension to SCS. SCS, and you say, okay, there you have your mod. We can do now is just move it out there. Move here, we can close the My Mods folder. When you double click this, that opens up. Let's see if the file is there. You're going to World, Journey Road Event. Let's see what happens. There we go. There it is. It's still there. Okay, so very simple. And now all you've got to do now is move that into your uh, Euro Truck folder, into your mod section. And when once you open the game up, just make sure that the priority is set right on top. And this thing should give you the effect that we just described. If you guys like these videos, please let me know. Subscribe and post your comments at the bottom. Any added content that you guys think I should add or any comments, any suggestions, let me know down below. Click on the links and, well, you can actually click on my home channel. 
And there's various other videos there. Have a look at those. Something might trigger your attention or something that you thought you couldn't find anywhere else. Believe me, you'll find it, yeah? And if you don't, let me know what it is. I will try and figure it out for you as well. So until the next one, guys, enjoy.